Hello Dizzle Theatrix. Right, first of all I'm going to take you to some footage I shot a couple of days ago which I will explain now. Boom! Because Supernova is so close um, and I haven't done much work, I uh, bought my cosplay materials today so I'm going to show you a, some quick footage of me putting up a Guns N' Roses poster. This is the Drowning Horse song. <laughs> it features a drowning horse. It is the Drowning Horse song <laughs> And it hasn't got a cow in it And now I'm going to show you how I make cosplay You don't want to finish off? Say goodbye? I, I'm not fin <laughs> Let's go! And after that fantastic little romp, I thought I would purvey you a little interesting thing I thought I'd show you. So pretty much people ask me questions on this website called Formspring, and I thought I would answer some that I thought were particularly entertaining or give some light about me, because some of them are very interesting, and I think you should hear them. Feel free to turn off at this point if you're not interested. What would you think the hardest be thing for you to give up on would be? Probably my belief that everything gets better. It's what's kept me alive so far. Why are you enabling my, my procrastination? Because it's fun. If you couldn't be an actor for whatever reason, what would you do instead? Teach drama. I'm a really good teacher, and I'd like to run and own a theater, teach youngsters how to put on a show, generally help young people get a skill in the theater. If you had access to a time machine, where and when would you first travel to? Um, I'd say drop me off at either 1987 at a Guns N' Roses concert or uh, the Renaissance to meet uh, so many aspiring artists and stuff. Of course, I'd have to learn ancient Italian. Hmm. If I were offered the job of US President, would I take it? Uh, not at all. I can't imagine uh, how I'd handle a whole country, and I'd imagine someone with a bit more experience in politics would be a good idea. Uh, what is the one thing that surprises people when they get to know you properly? And this I asked my friends Hayden and Marek. Hayden said, you aren't quite like the doctor. While quite abrasive at first, you're quite a lovely person. And Marek said, your diet. I'm not very healthy. What are your thoughts on the portrayal of Hamlet? I personally think he's often made out to be more insane than he really is. What do you think his story is? It's normally very interpretive. But I saw a Brisbane show, which um, is over now unfortunately, but it was over at the Bois Theatre. Um, that I personally think hit the nail on the head very freaking well. To me, Hamlet, as is his, his ploy, is only pretending to be insane at the beginning. But in this game, while trying to catch the conscience of the king from murdering his father, discovers elements that make sense to him in a way it didn't before, thus madness sets in at least slightly. This on top of the accidental murder of Polonius, the death is his would-be beloved Ophelia, had it not been for his own indecision to trust her, and the fact that he knows the death of many men is at hand, the events of the play, if nothing else, drive him insane. <laughs> Who do you think would be Australia's target man for the World Cup? Do you think Paducah can ever be replaced? Who in the world would assume I know anything about this? Ever drink bandage from a shoe? Old Greg, get off my form spring. That that little theatrics, I will say goodbye. Form spring in the sidebar, go check it out if you're interested. Take care. Okay, so if you were going if you and I were gonna be in a play together, which play we should it
Marek, that was a terrible time to die.